I think in Singapore, you can be whoever you want to be. It has something for everyone. There are pockets of spaces within Singapore where you can create something out of it. It creates such an amazing space to let your vision or let your passion thrive. I am Nico Santos. I am Andre Chanko. And this is our fashion story. My first experience of chicken rice was quite something. What glued me into trying it in the first place was the uncle. How passionately he was preparing it. I did not expect the balance to be that profound, to be that excellent. I wanted to have the same passion as that uncle. When I opened Hey Handsome, I brought with me Pranakan food. I tried to recreate as much as I can what I experienced in Singapore to my team. It's the only way for me to create an authentic fusion of flavors. In all the Pranakan restaurants I've tried, there's always that teal green in the back. I want to pay tribute to that green. It makes me never forget why I started in the first place. There's nothing else I can ask for in terms of profession. You know, I wouldn't have to thank Singapore for that. I knew that I've always wanted to do my own thing, but it was not very clear. So that first sip paved the way. One weekend, I walked into this tiny little shop back in 2009 or 10. It's called Papa Polata. I walked in, ordered a coffee, and then I was you know, mind blown with what they were offering. There was this, this guy in glasses who would come for coffee all the time. And then he would sit at the bar and he would ask a lot of questions. And then the next thing we knew it, he, he joined us. And then the journey started from there. People don't see you know, the tedious amount of hours roasting coffee. And there was so much depth and, and hands involved in, in making this one cup of coffee. Well, when I had it first sip, I was like, I want to run my own coffee shop. It's something that I knew that I was going to do and I want to do anyway. But I think any decision is always challenging and scary and, and frightening. On hindsight, I have no regrets at all.